All right, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, March 31st. We're going to go ahead and start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Lord, thank you for the night's rest you gave me. I am grateful for the renewed energy and enthusiasm it has brought. Accept my gratitude for bringing me to the beginning of this new day. I accept it as a precious gift from you. May I use it minute by minute to do your will. Guide me in every problem I face and every decision I make this day. Help me to treat everyone kindly, fairly, and thoughtfully. If I should forget you during this day, please do not forget me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so now I'm going to turn a light on so that you can see the pages a little bit better because I'm filming this at night. So for reading today, you're going to go ahead and read chapter 10 of Charlotte's Web and take the quiz. For math, we are now moving on from perimeter and we are doing area. So you have, will have a video to watch and then an activity to do in your re, or in your balloon notebook. Excuse me. So you're going to do this counting to solve for area. And then you'll cut off the title at the top. And then I have these six little boxes that you'll turn into flaps. And then with area, it's the space inside the shape. So to count the area, you're going to just count the squares that make up the shape. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the perimeter of this shape is eight centimeters squared. Eight centimeters squared. So you will do this activity and put it into your blue notebook. And then you will do extra math. For writing today, I have a prompt that I'm very excited to hear your answers for. So your prompt today is, what would you do if you had $100? So what would you do if you had $100? So make sure you do your five sentences. Sentences begin with a capital letter and end with an N mark. For handwriting today, you have a couple of pages. You're doing page 124 and 125. So our page 124 looks like this. You're just going to practice your over curves and your down curves because our next set of letters start with either an over curve or a down curve. And then page 125 is capital I. Okay, so make sure you look at your little diagram. You're going to do your little loop and then come around with your hook. Okay, and... On Seesaw, there will be different folders for page 124 and page 125, just like we had it yesterday. All right. And then for religion, you have a couple of pages to do. So one of your pages is this prayer acrostic. So it says, complete an acrostic poem to mark this time of year using the letters in the word prayers. Consider including people you can pray for or praises for prayers the Lord has answered. So you have the word prayers down the side and each line, I want you to start with someone that you can pray for or something that you can thank God for. And you're going to fill in this acrostic and then you are going to focus on family time, it says at the top. So I explained how to do this a while ago when we were at school when I was handing out these packets. But you're going to play this game with one family member and you're each going to have a different color and you're going to take turns drawing lines to connect the dots. You'll draw one line for every turn and then eventually you'll start to make boxes as you draw more lines and then whoever makes the most boxes in the end wins. So we're doing this activity to kind of take some time. You can do it with a sibling. You can do it with a parent. You can do it with a babysitter if you are um, with a babysitter during the day, um, a grandparent, whoever you're with, go ahead and complete this activity. Um, we, you do not need to post a picture of this one. This is just a for fun activity. Um, but you do need to post a picture of your acrostic poem, of your prayers acrostic poem. Okay? And that is all for today. Happy Tuesday.